So, hey. Well, this is another batch of random and more or less useful tips and tricks in the Blender. Let's get started. Well, structure and good naming habits is obviously very important in Blender. And yeah, I'm still working on that bit. Um, but if you want to select a specific object inside the outliner, but you can't find it up here, you can just select it in the viewport and then go to the outliner and press period on the numpad. Now you can go ahead and toggle selectability or restrict it from render or whatever you want. Okay, so we have this nice, nice little house with the falling snow and everything, but for some weird reason we want the snow to fall in slow motion for a limited period of time in the animation. So, you could do this just by changing the gravity of the particles, but that will actually change the acceleration of the particles and not the actual speed of the particles. So instead, let's change the time step, which is basically just uh, the velocity of the particles or the speed of the simulation. So let's add a keyframe and go a couple of frames forward and then change this to 0 0.005 and put in a keyframe. So now we can play back the animation and we can see that the snow is moving in slow motion when we get to the keyframes. Camera markers can be used to change the active camera in the middle of an animation. So let's go ahead and add a marker right here where we want um, the active camera to change. So now we go to the camera we want to change to and we go to the timeline and press Control B. You can also go into view and then press bind camera to marker. So if we look at this right now, we can see that this is always the active camera. And that's because it does not change because we only have one marker. So we have to add another marker. Go to the timeline, press M. And now we want to bind this camera to that marker. So let's go to the timeline again, con press Control B. And now this camera is bound to this marker. So if we go through the timeline, we can see that the active camera is changing all by itself. Okay, so we have this character right here, and when he's moving, we want his jacket to sway or to swing back and forth. So, let's go to the white paint and paint the lower part of his jacket. So, be sure to uncheck the limit selection to visible. And now, we can go ahead and just paint the lower part of the jacket. Um, but you can see right here that I didn't really get it right. So, uh, let's redo that, but this time we will change the stroke method on the stroke from spacing to line. Now when I press the left mouse button, I can hold it down um, and press ALT to make sure the line is always straight. And then just let go. And now we have a perfectly straight stroke from one side to the other. And this also works in both vertex paint, texture paint and even in sculpt mode. Render layers are very useful if you want to separate, for instance, shadows or maybe volume from the rest of the objects for the final render. But sometimes it can be very hard to tell what the render layer actually does. To be able to preview the render layers in the viewport, you can just click on a render layer and then go ahead and click the button down here with the name of the render layer. And now when you switch to the other render layer, you can see that layer instead. Not so long ago, I discovered a handy little shortcut, which allows you to change the edited types in Blender using just Shift and the F buttons. So for instance, Shift plus F3 changes the active editor to the node editor, and F5 changes it to the 3D view, F6 changes it to the graph editor, F10 to the UV editor, and Shift F12 changes it to the dope sheet. Another nice little feature in Blender is that you can actually just drag and drop images into an empty space in the 3D view to use them as background images. If you drop them to, for instance, an object instead, Blender is trying to put that image into the material, but it cannot do that in cycles, only in uh, the Blender internal render. You can also do this in a UV editor. So let's use the shortcut Shift F10 uh, to open the UV editor and drag and drop the image. Well, that was it for today. If you want me to do a video on a specific topic in the future, just let me know in the comments below. Also, consider subscribing to get notified when the next episode is up. Once again, thank you for watching, and I hope you'll have a splendid day.